I'm going to show you how to look up properties on the LPS Agency Sales and Posting website. Uh, LPS ASAP um, collects a lot of different trustee um, trustee sale information, as you'll see a little bit later on. Um, their website here is www.lpsasap.com. Um, we can log in here. If you don't have a login, you can uh, get a free one right here. So we'll type in our password here. And ask you for a code. And then this is the main uh, lookup site. So you have to select your state. I have several states that they uh, work with. County, so we'll do Benton County. And then a cell range. So the cell range can be any any range you want. Uh, we'll just select a large range. If you know the specific trustee cell number, you can put it in there. If you know the ASAP number, you can put it in there. If you know the property number, you can put it in there. So we'll hit Submit. And as you can see, there's several properties here. Uh, there's a couple different views, so we're in summary view right now. If you unclick that, it gives you a, a little more uh, different format for information. They put in here um, a way to go look at a map of where these addresses are and location uh, auction locations are. We'll go back to summary view. So you have your cell date, trustee cell number, address, city, state, zip, county, property number, the status of the auction. So you can see this is postponed to 1109 or 119 2012 with no reason. Uh, you can also see that that cell date is the same over here, 1109 2012. Uh, several postponements canceled. Uh, sale date. Now. NOS amount is um, basically how much is owed on the the property or on the note. Uh, sometimes you have something filled in, sometimes you don't. Opening bid, so we have several. Uh, you can they'll put it, update this opening bid usually a couple days before the auction. If you're looking at old auctions, you have a sell amount cell location, the trustee. So like I said, there are several different trustee companies that you that uh, report to LPS ASAP. So we have regional, quality, um, Cal Western, uh, asset foreclosure services. So there's quite a few there. Uh, the trustee phone number, the AS AP ID number. So if we were to look at something in the past, uh, that maybe we can get. Doesn't look like there's anything. Let's go Pierce County. You can see uh, what this property here was op opening bid was twenty-seven thousand. It sold for twenty-seven thousand and one dollar. Um, it doesn't say who it went to. It doesn't say the di disposition or any or anything like that. Uh, just uh, opening and and the sale number. Usually, f if it's the exact same number, that means it went back to the bank. If it's like this one, it went for one dollar more, or anything more than the opening bid amount, it w went to a third party. Um, in fact, it actually, its status says back to beneficiary and sold. So there's only one uh, actual sale to a third party.
everything out to the bank. The other thing you can do is click on this icon here. It will put all this information to an Excel spreadsheet and then you can open that spreadsheet, download and open that spreadsheet. Basically it's all the same information um, that you see on the website. Just puts it into an Excel spreadsheet. And that is how you look up properties on LPS ASAP.